I'm here with Jiwon Oh, who is a professor in Canada, and we're going to ask one question about secondary progressive MS. These days, when someone's diagnosed with MS, and we hear about all the categories, how's it going to go? So first of all, I think um, there's a shift in the field in that we're understanding that our current classification of MS is likely far from perfect. And we all know this, um, you know, as patients, you know this, um, as neurologists, we know this, like, nobody ever really fits into that neat um, textbook characteristic. And everybody thinks it's a one-way trip. Our no. times are actually, I feel better. Yeah, exactly. So I think we are recognizing as a field that the classification itself needs to be revisited. The issue of identifying progression in the MS, regardless of what subtype you have, is really an important one. I think there's many exciting imaging measures, blood measures that eventually will help us in this regard. And the reason that's so important is because there's many experimental treatments that are aiming to target progression in MS and lessen it and maybe even improve disability that's been improved. And so this is why it's so important that we identify better ways to um, measure progression because there are treatments that hopefully will be able to improve it in the very near future. I'll ask you the one question, doctors don't make patients ask you them? When? So there, you know, the good news is, um, it, you know, soon is a very nebulous concept, <laughs> yeah. but there are um, active trials right now looking at um, uh, BTK inhibitors, for instance, in secondary progressive MS, as well as in primary progressive MS. And I think the field is looking at these molecules with a lot of interest just because there's a a lot of lab data and imaging data suggesting that it may actually help with the pathological processes that we think drive progression. So let me go to another one, five, ten. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'd say the five. Patients say, doctor, what's going to happen to me? So yeah, yeah I said, okay, five. The yeah. earliest readout of these trials will likely be in the next two to three years, and then that'll likely make it available one to two years after that. So I really hope five max. Yeah. yeah. G1, thank you very much. I know you're busy. It's extra as everyone's running around. So, if you help, we're grateful. We appreciate it. And I've even got my boss on his show. So, all right, thank you. Thank you. Take care. Lived Health will be bringing you on the day highlights from Europe's biggest annual MS conference, Ectrims 2022. Make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss out on the latest updates in MS treatment from across the globe.